Yo, Gaster here, and welcome to episode 5 of my uh, Let's Play Minecraft series. And today, we are going to get onto a bit of farming. Uh, first of all, we are going to make a wheat farm, and if we get time, might make a mushroom farm. If not, uh, we'll do that in the next episode. So let's get onto it. What I'm thinking is I will make the farm around this area here. I reckon it will fit perfectly, and uh, see how we go. So first off, I think I'll make it out of wood, base it out of wood. So we we'll use wooden planks, and I might also use a bit of glass just to make it look a bit sweet. So get some glass, and obviously I need some wheat too. So where are you? Seeds, that's it, that's the one. Alright, and I also, in order to do farming, or well, planting with seeds, you need to make what's called a hoe. So you need cobblestone for the hoe. So I'll just get probably, that'll be enough. And all it is, is some sticks. That'll be enough. And then we put these sticks in like this and a hoe is simply an arrangement of cobblestone like that so if I bring these down to my inventory we can get, make a start on this uh, amazing wheat farm so what I'm feeling is uh, seven blocks I think I might yeah, perfect so I'm gonna make seven blocks along here and we'll build up from there Oh, I also need some dirt because you obviously need to uh, sow your seeds on some dirt. So we'll chuck that in uh, in our inventory as well. As with uh, all things that grow, there needs to be a light source. So I'm going to have to uh, sort that out as well. We have this so you can walk through. Cool. And then put it along here. I'm sort of just planning this out as I'm making it, so bear with me. Uh, cool. And then if I got this. Sweet. And then I build this out. Oh, you know what? This is going to work perfectly. This will be amazing. Right there. And what I'll do, a couple of doors here, and I might even extend it here as well. There we go. And what I'll uh, make a wooden floor just for uh, aesthetic purposes. Just to differentiate the, f the uh, where do I sow the seeds from uh, where I can walk? It's looking good. And I'll also make a couple of doors just as a uh, bit of a safety feature as well as a uh, so I can walk through the. So I'll put this here. And door here. Actually, I also need a chest. We'll inbuild a chest into the actual uh, farm itself too. This will just give us a quick place to store all our uh, all our seeds when we uh, make them. Oh, I'm, I mean our wheat. There we go. Put that there, and then put the door on top of that. Oops. No, it needs to go here. <laughs> nice one. Cool. And then around this, what I'll do is... Build up a bit of a wall, I think. Maybe I'll build glass in as well. Give it a bit of a look. 
Yeah, that'll do. And then maybe glass along here. And then wood along the top again. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Except I think I'll use panes of glass rather than, than glass blocks. Like I did with uh, my bedroom upstairs. So I'll go inside. Get these panes of glass. That should be enough. And put these along here. Look at that. Uh, looks a little bit rare. It's a little bit annoying. Anyway, I'll sort that out. And then this along the top. All the way to the end, I think. And then... Uh, it's really not liking that door there, is it? Uh, I don't know what to do about that. Anyway. I'll put these in. And we've run out of planks. No worries. Plenty more. And that one there. Cool. So, with, uh, with farming, it helps to have some water too, because, uh, as with all you know, all all gardens, all plants, they require water in real life and as they do in Minecraft. So put some water in the middle and it should spread out eight blocks in total. So I can go four either side. So it's one, two, oh it's only three, so it's definitely gonna be right. And you watch as I hoe the land by right clicking on it, it'll start to become dark as the water penetrates through. So hoe this land. And that's just going to help with the uh, production speed. Cool. All I have to do is put the seeds down. So I'll start along here. I won't have enough seeds, obviously, to do this whole entire farm. But you see there? See how that's going dark? I'll just put it on the dark spots for the time being. Cool. And what I should have done is I'll put a glass block over here. Oh, no. That didn't work the way it was supposed to. Um, put that there for the time being. Need to get a bu another bucket of water now. Uh, this is great. Here we go. Another bucket of water here. And then I'll put a glass block on top of that. There we go. Much better. Looking much better. Hold that land again. And you see if... Uh, as long as the land is wet, they'll stay... Uh, they'll s the land will stay tilled. That's what it's called when you hoe the land. Uh, but if it's dry, it'll, it has a chance of going back to its original state af after a certain amount of time. And then I think the final thing we need to do is just get some uh, light sources in this area. So maybe get rid of this one. I'll put them along the sand there. And then maybe here too. And also yeah, That's looking pretty good so far. I suppose I should keep it symmetrical. There we go. Look at that. Pretty cool looking farm. I'll just uh, chuck a block on top of... Not there. Chuck a block on top of this, and then I can put some light sources here too. And that's it. That's a great looking farm so far. I really need to get some more seeds. So, what you can do is on just on grass use your hoe, this is another use for your hoe and I'll just do it here because the grass will grow back eventually and just go along to the land and you have a chance of picking up a seed long grass also uh, yeah long grass will also drop seeds when you uh, use your sh um, just hit it 
In fact, maybe you can't get uh, seeds from this sort of grass anymore. Because normally, like, you'd at least get one from that. So maybe I'll just go over to here. And break some of these. There we go. So yeah, I think you can only maybe get seeds from this long grass now. Yeah, definitely. Definitely appears that way. It's getting dark, so always I'm pretty paranoid, especially with after the last episode when those uh, I was getting creeped on real hard. So I'm always like sort of paranoid about a creeper coming up onto me now. We'll just get a few more. Not sure how many exactly we need. There we go. Cool. Cool. When you are doing things like this, because you can, um, you don't require a certain tool to uh, break the actual uh, long grass with. It's best to just use something that's not going to damage. See, if I was using my pick here, it's gradually damage my pick and be an absolute waste of an iron pick. So just using, you know, something like this or your fist or something like that will save you. That's definitely enough. Seeds. Also put this here. Alrighty, let's uh, plant these final seeds and then that will be our uh, farm complete. And all we have to do then is sit back and wait for the uh, wheat to grow, I guess. Cool. Oh, still did not get enough seeds. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'll uh, fix that one up. And then whenever we uh, need to harvest them, they'll turn brownish, brownish sort of colour when they're ready to harvest. I think there's like three levels of growth. Then we have to do, harvest them. I click on here, chuck them in there. And we are sweet. Cool. That's uh, probably a good spot to end the video. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any uh, other suggestions for what I should do. Or any other modifications that you want me to do to this wheat farm. Anyway, other than that, thanks for watching, uh, this is Gesta, and peace!